Hi, my name is Scott Strohs, and this is MySQL Shorts. Stored functions work very much the same way as built-in functions. We define stored functions using SQL commands. By default, a semicolon tells MySQL the command is finished and that the command can be executed. Since our stored function will contain SQL commands that will need to be delimited with a semicolon, we first need to change the delimiter. We do this by using the command delimiter, followed by the character or characters we want to use as the new delimiter. In this case, we are setting forward slash forward slash as the new temporary delimiter. With the delimiter changed, we can now start defining our function. For this demo, we are creating a function that takes two required arguments, both of them integers, and returns the product of those two values. We start our function definition by using the create function clause. We give the function a name. In this case, it is multiply underscore ints. And then we define the arguments the function will accept. Here we name them num1 and num2 respectively and tell MySQL they both should be the int data type. Next, we define what kind of value will be returned when our function is called. In this case, we return the int data type. We also specify that the return value is deterministic. This means that the result will be the same every time the function is called with the same arguments. Some examples of non-deterministic functions are the built-in functions rand and uuid. We tell MySQL that we are beginning the body of our function by using the keyword begin. On the next line, we declare a variable named result and set it to the data type int. Then we set the value of the result variable to the two arguments multiplied together. The last part of our body is the return statement. Here, we return the variable result. Note that a semicolon is at the end of each of these lines. Yes, I could have just used a return statement in the body, but then you would not be able to see how to declare and set variables. Lastly, we tell MySQL that the function definition is done by using the keyword end in our new delimiter. Once the function has been created, we need to reset the delimiter by running the command delimiter semicolon. We can now use this function as we would any other MySQL function. In this statement, we call select multiply ints and pass the values two and four as arguments. As you can see, the value returned from this function is eight. Thanks for watching. Please be sure to hit like and subscribe. Also, there'll be a link in the description for any code or files we use during this video.